Okay. All right. Um, what's your name? How old are you? And where are you from? Um, my name is Yolanda Lua. I'm 44. I'm from Pomona. And, and have you been? Uh, are you originally from Pomona? Like, yes. Kind of born and raised. Yes. You've been out here for a while, then. Yeah. Um, and how was life growing up for you? It was confused. <laughs> you know, I didn't know my. I knew my mom was, but when I was 14 years old, she couldn't deal with me. So when I grew up, I never knew who she was. I thought I was a bad. I thought I was abandoned by a, from another mother, and it's that my mo my mother couldn't handle me when I was 14 years old. I'll be out there wild and not going to school a lot. I'd be wild with all these guys. I'm alive. I'm 25. I'm barely what 14, 15 years old. I met my son's dad at a club. Really? Yeah. I don't regret my kids, but if I would have a chance to live life again. I wouldn't have kids. You would not? No. I don't regret them, but I would I wouldn't want to have kids anymore. I do, but not that one. How many kids do you have? Four. Four kids? Yeah, but one passed away of cancer. What? Oh wow. Yeah, that's what, why I got this right here. What age did um let me see? At what age did um was it your son or your daughter? My son. At what age did your son pass away? Um I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure what, how old is he because when they were little, they got taken away from me. Oh, wow. Yeah, they were about two years old when they got taken away. So they told me that he had cancer. But I never knew cancer would come up now. I thought you would have it when you were little or something because his health was was cool. It was in, nothing was wrong with him. It was okay. Now I heard that he, I never, I met him when they were like three years old. And I wish I can meet him before he got sick and died. My family didn't tell me till like way already when he was got cremated already. Oh wow! Yeah, and they knew before I did. But how old was he when he passed away, or about uh, how old? He was probably he was well he was probably like twenty four, twenty five. Oh wow! That's and really you know young. the truth that I don't even know. I'm really knowing my kids' age and date of birth and that. But when they got taken away, they the judges made my mind mess up. They went up for adoption. And when he told me that, I went crazy. I was suicide myself. But I said to myself, it ain't worth it. Because if I did that, they won't have a mother and father. So their, their dad passed away when I was eight months, no, about five months pregnant. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I left from, from over Bakersfield because he was abusing me. And I came down here. That's when I found out I was pregnant by him. I told him I had kids with him. Well, I didn't know I had two of them, so I went to go deliver. And um, they never told me my son's um, he had cancer. So, but my mom told me that cancer could come anytime, any age. Mm -hmm. So that's why he he died of cancer. That must have been really hard for you to deal with. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to suicide. My I was gonna hang myself up, but I hang, I tied myself up. But I forgot to tie up the rope on top of the tree. Well, thank God. That's what God. I was thinking, yeah. That's probably God, right? Yeah. And I said to myself, you know, I wonder how am I going to go up if there's, there's nothing on top of that 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 what, that um, rope that I have is on my neck. How come it's not tied up and having me up? And they just told me it's not, it's not time for you to go. And I said, like, it's not time for me to go. But, you know, when they took my kids away from me, I was going to go. I went crazy. They put me in a um, mental hospital because my mind was going crazy. I didn't know what to do. And then when they told me about my son too, I didn't. I was trying to get, get crazy more, but I really know how how they treat me when I was in a mental hospital. So I just control myself down, and I started smoking meth. You oh, know, wow. because I didn't want my mind thinking about my son. I, I'm it's not. I'm not thinking about him. Is that I'm not trying to think about, you know, he's gone. But I'm just thinking that he's here. But I wish I can get to know who he is. But I never met him. He was two years old. And they never met me. I see my daughter. I talked to my daughter. But last time I talked to her, it was like two months ago. And she doesn't talk to me no more. And I told my mom, my mom, told my mom that, you know, I don't want to see her no more. She was telling me why. I said, because why are they going to come in my life again if they're not going to talk to me?
Mm-hmm. They talk to me a little bit and then they take off again. I said, I'm not, I'm not going to be playing like that. They want to talk to me and be in my life. Talk to me like I'm your mother, not I'm from a stranger. Come on, tell me, you got to get, you got to get, um, you got to understand that they're raised with those white people. I said, it don't matter who they got raised up. I'm, I'm their, I'm their mother. I had them, you know? Yeah. Because they were two years old when they got taken away. They never met me before. You know, they, they knew who I was. But they didn't realize who I really was their mother. They thought those people were their mother because they adopted them. They've been with them since they were two years old. So it's like, that's how my life was, you know. And I told my sisters and brother, I ain't nobody to tell you guys what to do. I ain't nobody perfect. But you need to take care of those kids really good because, you know, people out here, they're, they they get you into, you know, I mean, they put fingers on me because, they said that my kids were, I would abandon my kids with marijuana. I said, how am I abandoning my kids? If they drug test them, they said they're cool, but I'm the one that came out dirty. So what's the reason why they took my kids away? Because I was dirty for marijuana. Everybody says, are you serious? For marijuana? I said, yeah. What would you say that the hardest part about being homeless is? Be out here in the street. Sometimes I don't know what to, to go. Or sometimes we think about when it's getting dark, which I, where we're going to go sleep at. Sometimes, you know, I realize, like, this is not me. I can't be like this. But the reason why I came out here, because I was going to get in a fight with my sister. So I just moved out and I came out in the street. And I'm trying to get back on my feet. So I can go and get me a place so I can have my daughter with me. Because I have a 15, 17-year-old daughter. And she's telling me that I'm not her mom. And my grandma's her, my mom's her mom. She tell me why am I out here in the street? I told her why I'm homeless because I'd rather be out here than in jail, you know? Because I, I would have fought my sister. I probably would have been in jail right now. So that's why I came out here in the street. How long have you been homeless? Um, been out here about maybe like two, three years. And then. How do you feel emotionally while you're out here? Like, what's your outlook on life right now? Mm, sometimes I feel like like I get bored, or when I don't have money, I say to myself, "What do I, what do I do without money?" Or, you know, I just stress myself out. Like, there's something that's bothering me, but I don't know what it is. And they're like, "What is it?" I don't know. I can't tell you the answer because there's something that has bothered me, but I don't know what it is. Maybe because I'm out here in the street wondering, like, am I ever going to get a house? He tells me, you know, you should get a place with my money and my daughter's money. But I don't want to live in Pomona. Everywhere you go, there's problems. But as long as you're not involved in it, you know. And I'm trying to get away from the drug away, you know. Because I'm trying to get back in my kids' life again. And I don't want them to know that I'm doing it. I'm not hiding it for them. But I just don't want them to know. Yeah. So my daughter, she she knows what I'm doing. But she doesn't know I'm doing the, I'm doing the mess. You know, the mess, I'm letting it go down. Cause it's not, it's not good for me. Makes me fight with my husband too much. Makes me worry about dumb things. Do you ever feel like it's, uh, like you're defeated? Like what? Like you're defeated? What's that? Like, like it's over? Sometimes I feel that way. Like I'm, I'm alone. I feel like just crying to myself. Like I just want to give up already. But I said to myself, I can't. Because if I do, then I ain't going to go nowhere but hell. That's why I stay strong for my kids and my granddaughter, you know? Because so even though you don't see your kids and even though they treat you the way you do, yeah. you still stay strong for yeah. them. That's really good. Yeah. I think that's good like, to hold on to. Yeah. Um, that's why I'm trying to let go of that mess thing because it makes my mind think like, what a life. What am I going to do? I don't got no money. What should I go do? You know, that's why I just... Let it go because it's not good for me. What's been one of the scariest situations you've been in while you're out here? Mm. Because the scary thing is that I don't want to end up in jail because I was going to fight my sister. That's why I'm the reason why I'm out here because I want to fight with her. She got me kicked out with my husband saying that my husband was looking at her between um, like the doors cracks. And he was looking inside her door where she was changing in that. I said, why would he do that for her? If, if he was like that, I wouldn't bring nobody home like that. Especially I have a little girl. 
I wouldn't, and a niece, I wouldn't be no pervert to my house like that. That's why I'm out here because <clears throat> I don't want to fight her. And then if I did, I'd probably end up in jail. Probably right now, I don't know. I would or I wouldn't. I don't know. It depends how I hit her and get her. Because when I get mad and when I fight, I, I get my anger out to them and I can't stop. That's why I just let it go and came out here. Because I don't want to be in jail. And, and what led you to start using drugs? Um, I know there's a lot of like traumatic situations, but do you think that's what led you to start using them? Yeah, and then I see other people, how they get high, and I wanted to feel like them too. And I felt like that, but it's it gives me a different high than them, I guess. Because I don't act like them. I just argue with him too much. And that's why I said to myself, why do you want to use something that's going to make you lose somebody? You know? That's why I told him, too, you know, if you want to smoke that, go ahead. But I, I already quit that already. It's been two weeks already that I haven't smoked that. Well, that's good. Yeah, and I told him, you know, if you want to do it, as long as you don't do it in front of me, because I don't care. I'm not going to say, oh, let me have it. Let me hit it. But it just makes my mind, like, backwards, like, want to fight with him, thinking something about him that is not true, or I'm thinking, like, oh, where is he at? But he's at work, but I'm thinking that maybe he's out there messing around with his ex, something like that. No, it's that the drug made me think that way. And that's why I stay with marijuana only. Yeah. Totally, uh, totally different um, type of feeling. Oh, yeah. Right? I feel something. I see something different, you know, between me and him. We get along. We don't fight that much, you know, because I guess that thing, it's trying to, you know, handle me instead of me handling it, you know. And I, that's why I said to myself, I got to let it go. Because if I don't let it go, I'll be end up here like other people, like talking to themselves, looking at themselves, laughing and, you know, looking dirty, nasty. I, don't know, I told myself, you can't do that because you're a girl. And sometimes when I don't take a shower one day, it's like, oh, I feel like I need to because we're girls. You know, girls yeah. need, need to take showers more than men do. That's why, you know, I, I don't... I don't hang around with nobody around here because I just did to myself because I had a girl, she put me into a problem that's not my business, you know, and they try to jump me. And I'd say, hold on, why are you guys trying to jump me for if I don't know what you guys are going on? Supposedly so I went in her, their house and I stole their money and drugs and all that. I told them, you know what, I was raised not to steal from nobody and respect people's stuff because my mother didn't show me, but my grandma showed me. You know, my grandma was to me, it was my mother. But I know who my mother is. I'm not going to deny my mother. But that's why I just stay alone. That's why I just keep to myself and ignore everybody what they say. Because they try to make me get in trouble, you know, like they do. And I can't do that. I have, You know, I'm a grown woman already. And I got a grandkid and, a, and kids to take care of, you know. I know I wasn't there for them when they were little. But maybe I can be there for them now. My daughter, she's 17 years old. She stays with my mom. I left her with my mom because I don't want her out here in the street with me. Because if I had her in the street with me, she would have been the same way, getting taken away. So I told my mom if she can take care of her while I'm out here. She said, yeah. But my daughter, she's, she thinks I abandoned her too. I said, no, I don't. I never abandoned my kids. Never. I would never regret my kids either, you know. And um, I went through pain for, to have women. I, for me to regret my kids like that, I can't. That's why I told my sisters and them, my brothers. You know, these kids, I know they're ours, but they're, God, they're from God. And we need to take care of them like they are ours, you know. He, I know they're, they're, they say that our kids are borrowing from God. And I say, yeah, I understand that. But why did we have to go through this stuff? Why did they got to go through stuff that we know what to do, you know. Like my kids, you know, I never met them. I never raised them. They got taken away when they were two years old. I don't know how to take care of a kid. I, I don't know how to uh, uh, scold a kid or take something away from him or get up to. I know how to do it, but my daughter, she's the type of kid that I'm going to do what I want to do. And, you know, and I told her, you know, I'm the mother. You're not. And so that's why, you know, I'm out here because I'm my sister because I'm not being on her, but she, what she said about my husband, you know, mm -hmm. and I told her that. That whenever I see her on the streets, I'm going to get her. Now she's scared to go out on the street. <laughs> now I tell her, you know, I'm not going to do that anymore to you. But it's already passed. Just the past. Yeah. <clears throat> I said, that happened already a long time ago. I'm not saying it's your fault. It's that 
I don't know what you guys, why you guys want to go tell him that for, and it's not true. And she told me the reason why that she told him that to get me out of the house quick. I said, why? Cause I never did nothing to you, or he never did nothing to you guys, because the way I was talking to my mom. I said, but what does that got to do with my husband? Mm-hmm. You know, he would never. Why would I bring somebody or look through the holes and not have to see you? Other than like the people that you mentioned. Do you have any other influences? No. Friends, family that you can like lean on? No, just family. Uh, and just you, so you do have some family? Yeah, some family, yeah. That's good. Yeah. So if you need something and it's like emergency, you could reach out to them? Well, sometimes yeah, it it depends what it is too, you know. It de- my my sister, she comes sometimes and sees me and and she brings me something to eat or money or something like that. But I don't take I don't like to take her stuff like that because I don't want, I just don't want her to feel bad. She just, you know, she don't feel bad that she brings it to me when she, you know, from her heart. And she sometimes comes and visit me and, and see how, how I'm doing. Or if I don't talk to her or I don't call her, she t- comes down here, see how I'm doing. And how does it make you feel to like lose everything? I mean, like all your belongings, you lose your like relationships, your um, kids. Like, how does that take a toll on you? It, it makes me feel like I'm a bad person. But they said, don't think that. If you're not a bad person, things happen, you know? But it's, it's that I don't understand why they took my kids away from me because I was dirty and they were clean. Every time I go on the street, my kids always have to be cleaner than me. No matter what, how they, I am, they have to be more cleaner than me. You know what? Because people out here in the street, they see that. I don't care what the, what they say about me. But it's my kids, you know, and I said to I used to blame it on God that it was His fault that my kids got taken away. You know, I used to be I used to hate it talking to God because I always think it was His fault. And then they say never, you never um blame on nobody's mis- your mistake to nobody but yourself. So I would say to myself, you know, it ain't God's fault; it's my fault because. I'm the one that was smoking it, but my kids wasn't around it. They were in the room. I was the one dirty, not them. So that's why I feel like like that. If you can go back and give a younger version of yourself some advice, what kind of advice would you give yourself? My life. So I won't be out in the street and have my kids back. And um, what advice would you give to the younger people who might be in a similar situation or heading down like a path like this? Mm. Um, Something that, I don't know. I don't know what to, what do you mean by that? Like if if somebody, say they were leading, they're kind of starting to take steps towards like being homeless, towards Mm. drug use, like what kind of advice would you give them based on your experience? Well, I would give them advice that, I can't tell nobody what to do, but I would tell them not to be smoking drugs because it's not good for your health or what's the reason why they're out here. And I don't know. I don't want, I would try to tell them how I was on the street or how I was in drugs and so they can feel how it is. Wait, and then, and you're okay with us using this on social media yeah. to kind of spread awareness? Yes. How does this make you feel? Like somebody interviewing you to, to help the next person. Well, I feel like feel good because I feel like whatever I had inside me, it, it, some of the part that I, I speak, said to you, I let it out, and I feel like there's nothing in that I'm carrying on me that's making my heart feel heavy. It seems like this interview, you, you kind of just got a lot off your chest. Yeah, and I felt that. I felt every every bit of it. You yeah, know? Um, and hopefully somebody else feels that too. Yeah, but it does seem like it, it feels a little better. You know. Yeah. So that's good. Okay, good. Because I always wonder, like, how people feel, you know, giving these interviews. Although, they're, you know, you volunteer to do it. Yeah. But I just wonder how it feels after. So I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Sweet. And by any chance, do you have, like, a cash app or anything? No. um, That you want to put out there just in case somebody wants to send you some money or something? No, I don't have one. No cash app? Okay. And then you're normally around here, right? Yeah. In Pomona. So if anyone wants to bring you some food or water, you're out here. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And see, I try to tell my husband how I feel, but it seems like I can't tell him. But to you,
you, I could. To him, I can't tell him what I feel like. Because he just looks at me like, yeah, whatever. So I try to tell him how, what, how I feel inside me, what, or to let it out, but he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to hear me. But he thinks I'm lying about it. I said, why would I lie about stuff like that to you, you know? Is that I feel something inside me that I really want to do to myself, but I can't. Because my kids and my granddaughter, you know? I'm just stopping them. 